I've set up a really simple patch here. The red channel is controlling oscillator one, and that's going through dynamics controller one, but it's being modulated or controlled by function generator two, as we've done in a couple of the other videos, and that's so I can hold the note on. Um, just to differentiate one channel from the other, really. And then the yellow channel is modulating oscillator two or controlling oscillator two, going through dynamics controller two without any function generator involved. So, so you can hear there, one of them's holding on, the other isn't. Turn this off. This one is, if we put this onto trigger mode. Bring this one back in. Okay, now they're obviously on keyboard mode at the minute. Because I'm playing the keyboard up and down, let's put them onto knob mode and it's top row settings knob. Now they're playing the knob settings. <laughs> okay, let's just play it and see what happens, shall we? Let's turn the sequencer on then and run it. So they're both running, but we're not hearing anything because we've not got any steps programmed. In fact, let's make the yellow channel just eight steps long. Or let's make the red one just four long so that we've got less notes to program. Okay, that sounds all right. Not bad for a quick start. So let's make, um, as that baseline and I'm getting on the yellow channel is quite nice, let's make uh, the top channel 16 long. So roll, edit, sequence length. Now we just want to make sure we're on the red channel. Edit, sequence length, 16. See what happens now. to sound like a sequence isn't it let's add some jumps and some bits and bobs to the red channel so if we go to uh, just the red channel only edit step jump we jump from there to there and we do that occasionally Edit a step jump we go from there to there and we do that every now and then if we add um, let's add a step roll to one, let's add just a couple, two shall we, let's see what happens now. That's cool, let's bring the red in as well, reset them, start. So now we're getting a pattern that's not doing the same thing on every 16 steps. Let's use this blue CV out to change the fall amount, so to change the release on the one that's going through, on oscillator one that's going through the function generator two. So we'll take the CV out and we'll put that into the fall. So now these knobs here are controlling the amount of fall we're getting, so the release time. Getting something interesting there. Let's try and dirty it up a little bit. Let's add a little bit of ring mod, perhaps, shall we? Let's bring the ring mod out and let's mix that with the red channel. So this will mix it in here. Let's see what it sounds like. <laughs> And this is now a mixer 
well, it's still been, it always has been a mixer for um, the volume, essentially, of um, Oscillator 2. Let's change the input for that ring rod. Nicely strange. And then maybe let's change the time with the blue CV out as well. God knows what's going to happen here, but that's the fun of it. Don't think I'm going to win any Grammys for that, but you get the idea. That's how you start building these patches.